Greetings, Evil Boy Genius here, me and my trusty oppo, Connor. Hello. This morning, I want to share something with you. It's a bit of revelation, really. I've been, uh, been reading up on the Stoics recently. Well, both of them, yeah. And I was, I was quite amused, really, because it turns out I appear to be a natural Stoic. I've, I've been doing what people like Marcus Aurelius described and Eric Te uh, Epite Ep Ep Epictetus described and suggested for well, as long as I can remember. A natural stoic, eh? It's a bit like natural born killers, isn't it? Without the glasses and the shotgun. Yeah. Well, you've got the glasses, I haven't. Not anymore. Anyway, and uh, one of the things about stoicism, it, it's this idea of, you know, you are in the circumstances you find yourself and, you know, you, you can work to change them. But it's about, well, I say it's about, it's, you know, one of the fundamental things is um, being happy despite circumstances because otherwise you find yourself being unhappy about things you can't control or influence. Now, that might seem a little minor thing, but I mean, it's huge because most business owners I know piss and moan about things they can't control um, and blame them for their circumstances, such as oh, even the weather. We'll come back to the weather in a minute. But, um, you know, online competitors such as Amazon and Sports Direct, bigger competitors down the high street, out of town stores, the local council, the economy, the government, all these things. I mean, while they have an effect on you, there's no doubt about that. You can't control them. So worrying about them is pointless. Okay, you, you can't control what your competitors do. You can't make them lower or increase or, or decrease their prices. You can't make them stop doing the things they're doing. And if you try by getting involved in petitions to change the law and things, you are then violating a fundamental principle, to me, of the principle of non-aggression for a start, but also you're trying to change a complex adaptive system by imposing your will upon it. Doesn't work, does it? No, we have chaos, don't we? We have Venezuela when that happens in Cuba and the Soviet Union and all those places. So, circumstances are what they are. And it's, yeah, sometimes you can work to change them, sometimes you can't. It's, all that depends on you and, and what the circumstances are. But your internal state, your feelings, I, I think, I say what well, you should and shouldn't do, it's up to you, but I, I think you'll, be, you'll live a happier life and have a more successful life and business if you let go of your need to control um, external events and other people and that and in business that includes everything and it even includes your buyers you know i see people getting worked up over sales they're not making thinking they should do more to, to to force or compel the buyer to buy like lowering prices and stuff like that well you can't can you know they'll, they'll buy when they're ready to buy now a good example of what i mean by just being happy despite circumstances it's nothing to do with business it's just a small thing mrs ebg and i were away a couple of weeks ago or weeks ago in uh, in kerry and it fucking rained the whole time. It rained as I loaded the car at home. It rained all the way on the drive there. It rained all the way over the mountains because I took a shortcut. Well, I took a different way because the main road was blocked. Um, it rained the whole time we were there. There was a power cut while I was in the shower. Yeah, naked and soapy, soaking wet, and the lights went off. That's a very interesting position to be in. It is. Um, we went out for a walk the next day, got soaked within a mile, decided to, to cut that short and went for a drive instead. But the thing is, we didn't get miserable or disappointed or fed up, neither with the circumstances nor with each other. It's, we just laughed about it. It's, it's just the weather. We were happy in our circumstances regardless. We make the best of them. Most people don't do that. Now, why am I telling this? Telling you this? Why am I sharing it with you? Because it's this attitude, and I say it's, I'm, a, I'm a natural stoic, so I can't claim to have made anything up or to be an evangelical about it, but this attitude will serve you well in life and in business. And in business, it actually underpins much of what we do, doesn't it? Yeah. This idea of focusing on what you can control and influence only, and bugger the rest, because there's nothing you can do about it, is fundamental to what we teach, because you can only control your thoughts and actions, and you can't always control your thoughts. I know people say you can, but you can't. I can't always control mine, not when I've for instance, if I've got sensory overload, I can't control that very easily, if at all. But you can control your actions to a large extent, to the 99.9% .9 of the time you can control your actions. Okay? That's the all you can control. So in your business, it's up to you if you cut prices or increase prices. It's up to you if you have strong position or weak positioning. It's up to you, however you run your business, your business, your rules. That's all up to you. And if you have no rules, you have no guiding principles, well, that's the choice you've made. And you will suffer the consequences or reap the rewards. It's entirely up to you, isn't it? So try that just for, just for the next few days. Well, first, join us in join us for the um, Ground Zero initiative.
because this is this stoicism, this idea of stoicism underpins everything we do. And two, try it yourself the next thirty days. Try not to get involved and, and emotionally involved in all the baggage of things you can't control. What other people say, whatever they think, whatever they eat, whatever they wear, their hairstyles, their choice in music, whatever what your competitors do or say about you or anything else just don't get involved in it just focus on yourself and your own actions just do it for 30 days and um, see where it gets you and I'm, I reckon you'll, it'll get you a long way and then you'll be really glad you joined us in the initiative won't they they will right anything else no okay right we're out of here aren't we we're out of here we're out of here we're out of here